Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Heather and this is Create Your Own Cozy. On this week's video, I'm going to be doing five thrift flips. So if you want to see how they turn out, stick around. So my first project is this decorative plate. I probably paid too much for it. It's $6.99. But it was someone's project piece and I totally saw their vision for it. It came with a plate holder you can attach to the wall and they just didn't finish their paint so i decided this would look really good on a wall let's do my favorite color which is the diy apothecary paint and i only had to do one coat on this and i probably did just a little bit of touch up in that center section since i wanted it to be a nice solid base and then i go over that with the diy white wax um, I do not sell DIY products or IOD products for that matter, although maybe I should one day. So I will go ahead and leave two links for my local vendors who sell these items and they do ship if you're interested in getting these same items. Just tell them Heather from Create Your Own Cozy sent you. Also, I know some of you guys might be getting a little nervous because last week I went a little crazy with the wax way too soon and my transfers didn't work and guys you know when you start doing things and you have a vision for a piece and you don't think logically like i asked you guys what you thought went wrong and when you explained it i'm like it's obvious wax is the last thing so because i'm doing a transfer i am putting a matte polyurethane on here it is a water-based product which that is the stuff that transfers want to stick to. They don't want to stick to wax. I know this in my head, but um, I got myself this IOD um, book for Christmas. Merry Christmas to me. And guys, I just love the look of all these things. I'm doing a nice little walk through the book. Look at those bees. Look at that pretty white flower. I know what I'm doing with that. Stay tuned for another video with that one. But um, it doesn't have to be these particular transfers that you use. But I have been, every video I've seen with these birds on it, I have wanted one for my own space. So this one is for me, and I will be using those birds, hint, hint. So I measured it out by eye. That's usually how I do things. Again, this is just on the polyurethane, water-based. So look, it's stuck. So I'm going to add some words at the top. I felt like it just needed a some, something else so it wasn't just birds stuck in the middle of the platter. And I used the, the tool that came with these IOD transfers to just kind of rub it off of the plastic. And then um, I do remember to burnish it with the back of the plastic to make the transfers kind of meld with the paint. It's really kind of cool how you can see kind of the paint brush strokes in the transfer looks really cool. I did go over it with a 220 grit um, sanding sponge to make it look more vintage and like this has always been there and I didn't just put it on today. Of course, that part is the creator's preference. You can sand it or not sand it. That's kind of the fun of these IOD transfers.
next project is an old clay pot that we got from Ikea and my kid brought it in from the back porch. I washed it with soap and water, painted one coat with apothecary, and then here I am putting the matte polyurethane on it to protect it. Next, I'm just holding this round thing in place with two lint rollers, and this transfer is from that same IOD set, and I think it turned out cute. What do you think? For my next project, I am upcycling someone else's project gone wrong. I got these three candlesticks, $4, $4, and $2, so $10 for the set. Someone had already done me the favor of priming it with a nice dull gray color, but that's not what I wanted them to look like. So apothecary in white wax yet again. I know it might seem like a broken record on this video, but there's something so magical about transforming a project gone wrong into something that looks really good. Plus, I've heard that candle sets of three, you can't keep them on the shelf when you have an antique booth. So I obliged and I'm gonna get these ready to be one of my first pieces of inventory. What do you guys think? working on a canister set that I just replaced in my own kitchen. I got these canisters about seven years ago from a garage sale. They were bright red with gold lids and I painted them with my favorite furniture paint, the farmhouse paint, furniture paint. And after seven or eight years, they're in really good condition. There's some coffee staining because this was my coffee. That's where my coffee lived. And so I'm just going to freshen this up, go over it one more time. That is the red it used to be. So two coats of this without any priming or any baking soda added to it. And it stayed really well for that amount of time and being used. So there's no top coat needed with this and it is a water cleanup. So I'm just doing one more coat. I'm going to lightly sand it with a 220 grit sanding block. And then I'm going to go over that with kind of a wet paper towel to get off all the dust and it kind of burnishes this top coat so um, there'll be a little tiny bit of a matte shine and that's kind of what cures to be the top coat. So it works on furniture and it works on smalls and um, the nice part is this is a nice like antique white color that is not super bright but it goes in my white kitchen but i am done with it so i am going to get it ready to go to my booth i cleaned it out i am freshening it up and then instead of that weird colored top i'm going to do apothecary and white wax to the top too
now we're on to the last project of this video. Another discarded project piece. I got this for 99 cents. It was a tin plate that someone had already painted white. And you can see when I put um, this paint on, what a nice antique white and it kind of just softens and it's not as bright. So I just do one coat with the farmhouse paint again. And then I try to decide, I thought I had in my mind which transfer I was gonna use. I just kind of put it vertical and it looked boring. So I was like, well, this piece needs to be two-tone. So I just grabbed some cheap paint from Walmart. Um, I think this color was Artifact. It was very dried out. So I just put it on to see if I liked the color. And then I added some water with my water mister to um, reactivate this dried out paint and did a two-tone look. It was a little rustic and I want to say sloppy, but it was a little rustic where I didn't like tape down any of the lines because I knew I was going to go over it with yet again the white wax to kind of meld it all together. So this piece actually turned out to be one of my favorites. I do like the bird one, but this piece is close to being one of my favorites. Let me know how do you guys like how this turned out. Also, it is worth noting that since the farmhouse paint has a sealer in the top of it, because I'm just doing this cheap chalk paint from Walmart on top, I can wipe it off with a baby wipe and the white paint um, stays put. So you can't do any wet distressing with the farmhouse paints, but if you're using that for a base and you want it to stay white, that is a benefit of when you wipe it with the baby wipe, the white is going to stay put.
did you guys think? Did you guys have a favorite? Do you love the DIY apothecary color as much as I do? And what do you think of my new Christmas present IOD transfers? You will be seeing a couple more of those because I'm just loving the look of this new transfer pad. So if you enjoyed this video, here's a little Henry cameo. If you enjoyed this video, I would love it if you gave me a thumbs up. Let me know what your favorite thrift flip was. And also, um, I would love it if you shared this channel. My video last week did really well, and I'm so encouraged and excited by that. So if you have friends out there in your DIY community that you think would like this channel, I would love it if you would share it. And if you haven't already, I would love it if you would subscribe and hit that notification bell. That way, every time I upload a new video, you will get a notification. So thanks again, guys, for your support. And I will see you guys next week. Bye.